with another wash day video. This time I am doing a monthly deep cleansing wash day routine. So I'm gonna quickly pre-poo my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, now that my hair is pre-pooed, if you guys would like to see how I pre-poo my hair, you can click right here. I show you from start to finish on how I'm able to prep my hair for an easy wash day. So this was all of my shedded hair after pre-pooing my hair. Now I'm just gonna put on my shower cap then I'm off to my wash day. You coming, right? Come, let's go. Come on, you know you wanna come. All right, guys, welcome to my bathroom. This is where I will start my wash day routine. So I'm just gonna take down all of my twists, then we're gonna jump right into shampoo in my hair. Okay, now that all of my twists are out, I'm just going to saturate my hair with water before I go in with my shampoo. Now I do have low porosity hair and my hair takes a while to get wet. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna section my hair into two large sections. This is how I like to wash my hair. It's a lot easier and it helps to reduce a lot of tangles in my hair. So the shampoo that I'm using to wash my hair is the Suave Essentials Daily Clarifying Deep Cleansing Shampoo. So I'm gonna use this to deeply cleanse my hair. It says that it's supposed to remove excess oil, buildup and residue and that's what I need because my hair has a lot of product buildup on it. So I do the same steps on the other side. I make sure that I work that shampoo on my scalp and the length of my hair just to get rid of any product buildup, oil and residue that I don't want on my scalp or my hair. So I like to hold the ends of my hair taut just so that my hair doesn't get tangled up and curl around each other. This helps to prevent a lot of tangles and breakage as well. So I'm just making sure that all of that shampoo is out of my hair. Then I will proceed with my second shampoo. Now when I'm doing a second shampoo, I like to go in with a moisturizing shampoo. This moisturizing shampoo will then be the first steps of putting that moisture back into my hair after my clarifying shampoo had stripped everything. So as you guys can see in this video, my curls are starting to clump up, my hair has been deeply cleansed, and this moisturizing shampoo is now adding that moisture back into my hair. So my curls are coming to life, y'all. So I'm just making sure that all of that shampoo is out of my hair because there's nothing I hate more than when you think you washed all of the shampoo out and you found out that there's still more shampoo on your hair. So I really like to go in and make sure all of that shampoo is out of my hair. So as you can see in this clip, my hair is nice and soft, it's clean. So yeah, let's move on to deep conditioning now. Okay, so on to deep conditioning. So because this is a deep cleansing wash day routine, I'm trying to add as much moisture back into my hair as possible. So we got the moisture from the shampoo, now we're gonna get even more moisture from our deep conditioner. So my hair is already soft y'all and that's just from using the shampoo alone. So now I'm just gonna split this large section into another section and apply the deep conditioner. 
Now, when I'm applying my deep conditioner to my hair, I like to apply it in smaller sections just to ensure that all of my strands are coated with the deep conditioner so that they can reap the goodness and the nutrients that it needs. So let me know in the comments, do you apply your deep conditioner in sections? Like I make sure all of my hair is coated with a deep conditioner, my roots, my edges, everything. Your girl does not play about her kitchen. I make sure I get every strand of hair in the back. We want healthy, moisturized hair. Okay, so I'm all done and my hair is completely covered in the deep conditioner. And I just like to apply the extra to my roots. Okay, now I'm gonna put on a plastic cap and then I'm gonna sit under the dryer for 15 minutes like the direction said. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so once I'm all done, I like to detangle my hair after I allow the deep conditioner to sit on my hair with heat. Now I do have low porosity hair and it's so beneficial for me to use my deep conditioners with heat. My hair is left being soft, it's moisturized and it's a lot more manageable when I use heat with my deep conditioners. So for all of my low porosity girls, use heat with your deep conditioner. It's a life changer and your hair will thank you, trust me. So this wash day took me about three hours and I don't think that's too bad because I did get a late start with doing my hair. So let me know in the comments how long is your wash day? I would love to know. So all of the products that I used in this video, I will have them in the description box. So yeah, if you wanna try them out for yourself. Okay, so I've already rinsed out my deep conditioner and I'm just squeezing out the excess water in my hair before I apply my leave-in conditioner. Okay, so now I am applying my leave-in conditioner, which is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It is the Cream of Nature Curl Repair Leave-In Cream. Let me tell you, this leaves my hair so soft. I really do like using this because it smells really, really good. I like to use my extra virgin olive oil to seal up my hair. That way I'm able to retain a lot more moisture in my hair. So now I'm just gonna oil my scalp because your girl's scalp gets very dry during this time of the year. And do a quick scalp massage. <laughs> you never could go wrong with those. So I let my hair dry for a few minutes to an hour and then I put on my satin bonnet and I'm off to bed. I like to style my hair on the next day. That way my hair is a lot more stretch. So this was the style that I did. Two strand twists. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you the next one. Bye.